Hey guys, welcome to episode number 429. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today I wanted to talk about your aquarium water change faucet pump adapter and some of the common problems that happen with these things over time. Uh, now I have two of them here. This is the Python and this is the Deep Blue. They're uh, almost virtually identical. And what I wanted to do quickly is walk through all the different components to this adapter and how it works and where the common problems come from. So the assembly itself is made out of a few components. Um, at the top we have the Venturi nozzle and um, that's connected to the uh, screw ring and that itself is threaded onto the top part of this T. And then from there we have a couple screws on either side which lock into place to allow the bottom part of that um, on. And obviously that allows you to uh, adjust from on, from open to closed for doing water changes. The only other piece to talk about is your rubber washer and that sits inside the top um, to prevent leaks from happening when you turn your faucet on. Now sometimes there are multiple different sizes of these washers and one you need to make sure that the washer is actually there. If you don't have a washer it's always going to leak. And then two, um, some of the washers are different sizes so if it comes with multiple washers make sure you test both of them out to see which one provides the better fit. Alright so those are the components to your faucet pump and there are several problems which happen with these things over time. Now they hold up pretty well, eventually they're going to crack and at that point you're going to need to toss them and replace them. But until then, um, the most common problem that people tend to have is these things leak and they usually leak right out of here. So when that's connected to your faucet, you've got water spraying in all different directions and the, the harder you turn the water pressure on, the more that's going to spray all over the place. And that is not normal and um, it's actually caused by the connection between this piece, your Venturi nozzle, and this piece which is your T. And as you can see that's threaded and over time what happens is this connection gets loosened, it jiggles to the point where water is able to escape between those two points. And if you see this with the collar put on you can't really see either one of these parts but that's where the water is coming from, that's why it's spraying. So what I found is the easiest, easiest way to fix this is to actually take this pump assembly apart. Um, sometimes you need to fit something like a, uh, a screwdriver or, or something um, like a wrench that, that you, you have available to you in this part to uh, twist it, to loosen it off. And the easiest thing you can do to prevent leaks and to make sure this stays seated as best as possible is just to run one or two layers of Teflon tape around that fitting so that when you connect this, you drop the Venturi cone through your top collar and then you can twist this on and you might need help, you need to make sure you don't cross thread it. You might need help um, with a tool such as this to, to really tighten it on. But once you've done that um, and you've gotten it really tight, you'll see that this top part still jiggles and that allows you to, to uh, attach that tightly to your faucet. Um, but it, it makes sure that you're not going to get leaking water between those two pieces. Alright, the next problem that people tend to have is sometimes this bottom assembly uh, doesn't open all the way or doesn't stay open all the way or sometimes it closes on its own. Uh, sometimes this part can get really finicky and this is the part that you're twisting and turning a lot when you have it um, set up to do water changes. And the biggest thing that happens is, is really simple. It's just these two screws right here which keep this thing in place tend to either get too tight or too loose just depending on um, you know how it's used. So essentially what you can do is just take a screwdriver and either loosen these or tighten them and you want to do it equally to make sure that you're getting the right amount of flow 
and the right amount of turn out of your faucet pump assembly. Um, what should happen is when you're ready to turn it on or you're ready to turn it off, it should stay locked in that position. So when you have it where you want it and you have those screws tightened or loosened um, just the way you want it, then, then that's where it can stay. If anything goes wrong there, you can always adjust those uh, over time. And the last thing, which I did uh, briefly mention at the beginning, was the washer itself. And you want to make sure that you have the right washer installed for your faucet pump. Uh, some of these pumps come with multiple size washers, and it's really going to depend on how much space you have and how many threads you have on your aquarium um, faucet pump and your actual faucet um, threads. Uh, you can get threads or, or adapters uh, from pet stores or online Amazon uh, to connect to a sink that doesn't normally have those threads for these pumps and just depending on what you use um, is going to determine you know what it is you're going to need and which washer you're going to need so this is the, the thicker washer I believe and you just want to insert that with the tabs down and as long as that's seated properly all the way around you should be fine if any sand or sediment gets stuck in there or if this washer corrodes or starts to fall apart over time you're going to want to replace that washer so that you don't get any leaks uh, out of the the connection between your sink anyways guys that's the faucet pump um, as i've said i have two of these i use both of them they both work great they're virtually identical and um, you know they last a really long time as long as you know exactly how to use them and, and how to fix them. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.